1969, humanity achieved an extraordinary milestone by landing astronauts on the moon for the first time during NASA's Apollo program. This historic event marked a significant leap forward in our understanding of space exploration and the capabilities of human ingenuity. However, since those iconic Apollo missions, manned lunar expeditions have been absent, leaving many to wonder why we haven't returned to the moon in decades. Welcome back to Mars Discoveries, where we delve into the wonders of space and science. Today, we're taking a deep dive into a topic that's both fascinating and complex. The 1960s marked a pivotal era in space exploration with the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a fierce space race. NASA's Apollo program emerged as a beacon of scientific and technological achievement, capturing the world's imagination and showcasing humanity's ability to venture beyond Earth's boundaries. The culmination of this endeavor was the historic Apollo 11 mission in 1969, where Neil Armstrong became the first human to set foot on the lunar surface uttering the immortal words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The cost factor in space exploration is a critical consideration that permeates every aspect of mission planning and execution. The Apollo missions of the 1960s and early 1970s stand as iconic examples of human ingenuity and determination, culminating in historic lunar landings. However, these achievements were not without their financial challenges. The Apollo missions represented a monumental investment in technology, infrastructure, and human capital. Building and launching spacecraft capable of carrying astronauts to the moon, developing powerful launch vehicles like Saturn V, establishing mission control centers, conducting extensive astronaut training programs, and conducting cutting-edge scientific research all required substantial financial resources. The price tag for these endeavors was astronomical, reflecting the immense complexities and risks involved in crewed missions to space. As the post-Apollo era unfolded, budget constraints within space agencies like NASA forced a revaluation of priorities. The high cost associated with crewed lunar missions prompted a shift in focus towards more cost-effective alternatives while still pushing the boundaries of space exploration. This led to the emergence of ambitious projects like the Space Shuttle Program, which aimed to reduce the cost of accessing space and enable routine space missions. Moreover, the political landscape surrounding space exploration has evolved significantly. The Apollo era was characterized by the intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union, driven by Cold War tensions and the desire for technological supremacy. This rivalry fueled rapid advancements in space technology, but also reflected geopolitical tensions of the time. In contrast, space exploration today emphasizes international collaborations and partnerships. The International Space Station, ISS, stands as a testament to global cooperation in space. Countries once locked in ideological conflicts now work together aboard the ISS, conducting scientific research, testing technologies, and fostering camaraderie among nations. One of the pivotal shifts in space exploration philosophy is the move towards sustainability and establishing long-term human presence beyond Earth. This transition reflects a broader understanding of space as not just a frontier for exploration, but also a potential domain for sustained human activities, scientific research, and resource utilization. The concept of lunar bases and sustainable habitats represents a shift from the Apollo-era model of one-off missions to a more enduring presence on celestial bodies like the Moon. Such bases would serve as outposts for scientific experimentation, resource extraction, and as stepping stones for further exploration of the solar system. Achieving this vision requires meticulous planning, rigorous testing of technologies, and robust international agreements. Building and maintaining habitats in space entail challenges such as radiation protection, life support systems, recycling resources, and ensuring the well-being of astronauts during extended missions. Collaborations between space agencies, private companies, and international partners become paramount in addressing these complexities. NASA's Artemis program represents a bold and visionary initiative aimed at returning humans to the moon in a sustainable manner. Building upon the legacy of the Apollo missions, 
Artemis seeks to establish a long-term presence on the lunar surface through innovative technologies and collaborative partnerships. At the core of the Artemis program is the ambitious goal of not only landing astronauts on the moon, but also creating a sustainable infrastructure that enables extended human activities and exploration. This sustainability aspect is crucial for laying the groundwork for future missions to Mars and beyond. One of the key components of the Artemis architecture is the Lunar Gateway. This space station, positioned in lunar orbit, serves as a strategic outpost and a gateway to deeper space exploration. Moreover, Artemis emphasizes the utilization of lunar resources and in-situ resource utilization ISR view techniques. By leveraging resources like water ice on the moon, astronauts can produce oxygen, water, and fuel locally, reducing reliance on Earth for supplies and enabling sustainable lunar operations. Collaborations with commercial space companies play a crucial role in Artemis and the broader vision of sustainable lunar exploration. Partnerships with companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others bring in expertise, innovation, and resources to complement government-led initiatives. From developing lunar landers to providing logistics support, these collaborations accelerate progress towards sustainable lunar exploration. In conclusion, while the challenges and complexities of crewed lunar missions are multifaceted, the collective efforts of the global space community are propelling us closer than ever to returning to the moon. The convergence of innovative technologies, international partnerships, sustainable exploration frameworks, and visionary initiatives like Artemis herald a new era of human exploration beyond Earth. As we look towards the lunar horizon, the dream of once again setting foot on the moon stands within reach marking a pivotal chapter in humanity's quest to explore and inhabit the cosmos. As we conclude our exploration of why humans haven't returned to the moon, it's clear that the journey to space is a multifaceted endeavor shaped by budgetary constraints, evolving priorities, international collaborations, and the pursuit of sustainable exploration. However, amidst these challenges, there's a palpable sense of excitement and momentum building towards a lunar resurgence. Initiatives like NASA's Artemis program and the growing involvement of commercial space companies are paving the way for a new era of lunar exploration. The dream of once again setting foot on the lunar surface is no longer confined to history books, but is on the cusp of becoming a reality. As we gaze at the night sky, let's remember that our journey to the stars is not just about reaching distant worlds. It's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, fostering global cooperation, and inspiring generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic odyssey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating insights into the wonders of space and exploration. Until next time, keep looking up, and let's continue reaching for the stars together.